professionals here. I'm a life professional, reality professional. <laughs> you know, some of us, we believe in reality. We don't believe in slogan. We don't believe in research because how do you research when you knew that parents can't afford to pay for their own children at tertiary level? What kind of research will be doing when you know exactly? Because as long as you knew that is all it is a research and a unique When I when I was still there at the SABC before they took the title but what they could not to, uh, take away is reality in Saudi and their vision in this man. Mm. That one they could not take. And there is only one cloud in South Africa, is this one. No one. <laughs> I have been saying to people, especially when it comes to young people, you know, I don't tell people want, what they want to hear or listen. Because I always want people to come and think deeper and deeper so that we can take the country forward. When it comes to young people, I hear because we have professionals here, we have intellectuals here, but I'm a born intellectual. So I don't understand all this but the reality is, you produce all these professionals you produce all these doctors and lawyers. But the reality is, we don't need all of them to be doctors and lawyers. Because we still need plumbers, we still need people who are building houses, schools and so on. What we need in South Africa, for all people of South Africa, is living wage. Pay people well, whether they are plumbers, where are they at us? That is what we need in South Africa. And people who believe in research, that is where they need to do research. <laughs> to say in this country, in South Africa, how much doctors do we need? So that when you produce doctors, you know you need such doctors how many teachers you need. Don't produce thousands of uh, uh, teachers. When after producing them, they can't get work. It can't be right. That is reality. Because we just say, let us produce teachers, but reality is, after producing them, what they are going to do? I think Mzwane and my sister here, they know, including yourselves, how many students who, 
passed at tertiary level. Some of them, they are old now. you need in this country because you're going to produce them and they don't work mm. you know south africa we're going to eat each other <laughs> moving forward because we don't plan accordingly and i have been saying to people because now what you see is what you get i don't care <laughs> i have been saying to people you know in south africa the problem is noise when people listen to this Western noise, they run away from that noise. When actually the purpose of that noise is to make sure that we don't empower our own black people. I have been doing example. You know if you hear young uh, 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 lions, if you can go to any company, and one from India and China, young people, they come, you go and you sell your own product. They are not going to believe in you, South Africans. They are going to believe in Chinese and Indians and other people from uh, outside the country. Because we as South Africans, we need to change that mindset and say, actually, we should believe first in our own people. Because if we believe in ourselves, everything is possible. And it's achievable. As long as we have this mindset that uh, black people, they don't know, they can't lead. Maybe those who believe they can't lead, some of us we can lead. General, I was so figured now, we say parliament, dang it. I mean, I'm king, I mean, I'm parliament. Not now, General. Abaya. Not all of you in that parliament. You see, Econal and Dubai Bays are over the ad hoc committee. And these people are saying they represent ordinary citizens of this country. They come with their own uh, 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 ad hoc committee, put ad hoc committee investigate SABC. And what they are saying when they talk, their action is different. Because how do you review local content? If you in J How do you review local content where we empower black people? For the first time in South Africa, you have someone from Maskandi who won an award. <laughs> Because of the same content, because of the same policy, now you are black. You want to reverse empowerment of black people. And Minang Sabu Mundu, one for sure. I'm not afraid of these people who are making noise. And actually, if you look, why did it not call Saudi to come? Because from day one, it was Saudi until the end. But they refused to call Saudi. And when we talk about the rights of people, when we talk about members of parliament, 
they should operate within the constitution of this country. Because the constitution, even if I have killed someone, I should go and defend myself. That is what the constitution is saying. In this case, I did not kill anyone. I empower black people. They will separate it from me. But you know why they did not call me? They did not call me because they knew that when I took that stand, people of South Africa, they are going to believe in me because they believe in me. <laughs> and actually the majority of South Africans support what we have been doing at the SABC. But let's talk about this economy. Because Many years I'm a professional, so I'm a intellectual. But I'm a policy. When you write a policy, it's just a document. That is not a delivery. Yeah. It's just a guidance for you. A delivery is where you implement what you need to implement. Because in South Africa, you have all these policies. But you have wrong people to implement those policies. Because they don't support those policies. 